internet world has changed our industry. And sites like Zillow can help you get your practice up to speed with today's consumers. Let's face it, if you want more clients, then you have to go where the fish are. That was the message from Spencer Raskoff, COO of Zillow at the NAR 2009 conference in San Diego. And what he has to say about the internet, Zillow, the buyers and you may just surprise you. Buyers are increasingly using the internet. Around 84% of all buyers say they use the internet as a big part of their purchase transactions. So agents need to understand the internet, they need to be on the internet, and they need to make sure that they're serving internet buyers needs. No doubt today's buyers are using the internet more than ever. 55% of Realtors originated transactions from the web in 2009. And 84% of buyers are using the internet. And 55% of those buyers use Zillow during the process. Of those buyers frequenting the Zillow site, 62% are trying to identify a home. And an astonishing 61% are trying to identify an agent. Are you there for them to find? Contrary to what you may have come to believe, Zillow is not your enemy. Buyers are increasingly using the internet. Around 84% of all buyers say they use the internet as a big part of their purchase transactions. So agents need to understand the internet, they need to be on the internet, and they need to make sure that they're serving internet buyers' needs. As real estate professionals, we are being outpaced and outstripped by internet consumer power. 89% of consumers rank speed as extremely important or very important for agent response. Yet satisfaction with agents is at an all-time low. That's because only 5% of internet inquiries are even answered in their entirety. And that's because we aren't where the buyers are. This estimate is not always perfect, and um, you know, obviously, Zillow is trying to value almost every home in the country three times a week, and so smart agents use Zillow and this estimate as a conversation starter, as a way to say to the client, yeah, yeah, Zillow says this, but let me tell you why my local knowledge, my local expertise can tell you, um, you know, that I think that. And so that um, kind of uh, perspective that an agent can provide on Zillow is really how agents differentiate themselves and how they get business from Zillow. We also had a chance to talk to Sarah Bonnert, the Director of Broker Services for Zillow, about some very practical tips and getting started points for you to begin using Zillow effectively as a real estate professional. Sarah is here to help. So there's kind of three ways I think agents need to think about it. Promoting themselves, promoting their listings, and promoting their expertise. So promoting themselves, they should definitely create a free profile on the site. Get their online resume, get links back into their blog, link to their Facebook page, link to their Twitter handle. You know, kind of tie all of what they're doing already online together into that resume. They need to promote their listings so they can upload it themselves. They, maybe their broker is syndicating to the site, maybe they're using a syndication service. And then they need to promote their expertise. And one of the ways they can do that on Zillow is using Zillow Advice, which is a question and answer forum where consumers are coming in and asking thousands of questions a day. There's a lot of information out there. Interpreting it is what they need help with. So it's a great place for agents to come kind of play in the sandbox where consumers already are and interject their voice, interject their expertise, and hopefully gain business from it.